It's so dark in here. Oh, Dorothy likes her sleep. She could stay in bed all day. That's one thing we have in common, Dorothy and me. Because otherwise, she's a grumpy old hag, especially first thing in the morning. 95 years old. Hello, Dorothy. Rise and shine. Come on now. I know you're awake. <laughs> now, that's very rude, sweetheart. Come on, lovely. Up we go. She just won't go. Richard! Whoa. Richard! Where are you? She's a large woman. Richard's not here, darling. Hopefully we won't have to drag her you out of bed. You know that. I think Dorothy could use a bit of sun. Oh, you... Boogers! Ready to have an awesome day? Job done. Alma's up next. I'll meet you outside her room. She's a little grumpy, but not too bad. I can get to the nurse's station from here. No, oh, I can't talk to Dorothy. Alright, Alma. Next to the nurse's station, did you say? So why did she go that way? <laughs> oh, kitchen. The store leads to the kitchen. We have a chef named Al. All right. Well, let's not disturb him. Alma lives here. Oh no! <gasps> Alma! What in God's name are you doing on the floor? Are you okay? I'm fine, dear. Come on the other side and give me a hand, Lorelei. Oh, she didn't... she couldn't use the bell. She must have fallen while getting off the commode. Lucky lady, not a scratch on you. But... God, I'm gonna feel all that lifting in my back for a week. So thanks for that, Alma. We're young and strong. We'll be fine. <laughs> I like your attitude, girl. But now we have all this mess on the floor to clean up. What is it, anyway? I don't know. But I'll have a look. Looks like... a letter. Oh, I thought it was toilet paper. It's... a very old letter. A whole bunch of them, actually. Mm. I want to read it from like, um, I want to know why perspective, but I feel like this is going against patient confidentiality and all. Uh, I don't think it matters, though. My darling wife. I am writing this letter, in case I don't make it through tomorrow. We have just received orders to attack, first thing in the morning. I have a bad feeling about this. And I think, should the worst happen, you ought to know one thing about me I'd never told you before. Ah, but the rest has been torn off. Jesus, Alma. You 
kept this with you all that time? And now you wipe your ass with it? Right. And now it's time for a coffee break. What? So soon? <laughs> what do you mean, soon? It's half past ten already. Really? Time flies when you're having fun. I'll put the kettle on. But before we go, can you take the dirty laundry upstairs and chuck it in the wash? Yeah. I've left the laundry bag by the nurse's station. Hmm. All these old ladies combined have over a hundred years. Yeah, it should be over 200. Years of experience with them. They've lived a lot of life. The bag is here. It's full of dirty nighties and wet sheets. Yuck! We gotta bring it to the laundry. Can we still go in? Now's not a good time. Have we ever been here? Oh, other ladies. The spirit of 43. Well, everyone looks... Content? Content enough? It looks shabby. Probably been used a lot. I can walk just fine on my own. Huh. I hope I don't have to use it. It probably takes hours to hoover this place. Oh, I know this one. Hoover is vacuum cleaner, right? Nobody's told me to Hoover. And I really hope they don't. It comes from a brand name, right? I think so? The laundry is right back here. Must be a lot of washing in a place like this. Daily. That's where the dirty laundry goes. Oh. It's full of soggy sheets and night dresses. Yuck. I would hope the cleaning is a little bit more rigorous than just this, since it's got to be like disinfected and all. You all right? I'm good. Mr. B just called. He won't be coming in today. Oh, okay. He'd crashed his car this morning. Apparently, some dog chasing a cat ran out in front of it, and he drove into a lamppost to avoid running them over. Uh-oh. Then I thought you mentioned a dog earlier. You wouldn't have anything to do with this, would you? Yeah, but I didn't... It's not like I made him crash his car. And let's not lie, because we didn't do anything. Surely there's more than one black dog in this city. I didn't say it was black. No? No. But it was, in fact. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. B mentioned that for some reason. And you knew. Interesting. So what? I saw a black dog. It barked and growled at me. I found a way around, but it made me late. End of story. We'll see. We'll see? What do you mean? <laughs> no! Even if it's the same dog, which I do think it is, so what? I didn't do anything. I'm doing my best here, so please stop picking on me. But Laura, I'm just trying to teach you some respect. Well, thank you, Sensei. Mmm. <laughs> Fine. If you feel like I lack respect, I'll try harder now. Having this job is important to me. I will do anything to keep it. You don't have to tell her that part. 
In that case, go and make us all a cup of tea. Oh. See? Maria's already on it. Go on, then. I'll be down shortly. Oh. I'd ask her to put plenty of milk in it. She always forgets. You don't have to tell her that you want to keep this job that badly. Somebody like that might just take advantage of you. But yeah, cause back at home, Lorelai's situation right now is that... Her mom's not working, her dad's not working, and there's a baby. Is mom working? I don't think so, right? But maybe it wasn't mentioned. Tea in the... Kitchen? Alright. The red mug is yours. Mmm. It smells lovely. Oh, I met Zoe upstairs. She asked for a cup of tea as well. Yeah, I made it. I always make it. The yellow mug is Zoe's. Did you put plenty of milk in? Yes. Looks almost black to me. Ugh, I don't know. I don't drink tea. You know, we don't want to piss her off more, so... You go ahead. I'll get more milk from the kitchen and join you in a minute. Oh, you're a gem. Thanks! Wait, what about Nisha? Oh, Nisha drinks water. She's alright. Don't you want to get her a cup of water at least? Nisha has been missing for a while. <laughs> That's a big fridge. Semi-skimmed. Seems about right. I don't think Zoe should be using the full fat one. <laughs> there we go. Wait a second. What's this? The laxative? No, I couldn't. Could I? No. You just said you would keep this job at whatever cost. That's going against that. Warning! The cook is on fire. Uh, this guy's pretty antisocial, huh? Doesn't want to talk at all. This is Zoe's. Let's add more milk before she starts another war. Semi-skimmed milk. For those that pretend they're on a diet. <laughs> Can I have some as well? Ugh. Hmm. Coffee. With milk? Oh, it's gone! Dang. From a... Video uh, game? Never mind. <laughs> Do you want one? No thanks. No thanks. I don't smoke. Oh. Fair enough. I'd go on a killing spree without my fags, I think. There'd be blood everywhere. Really? You don't seem anything like that. Yeah, but this job can be so bloody stressful sometimes. Like, you have no idea. I'd go mental. Oh, go on, have one. It's not gonna kill you. No, I don't think so, because we know that mom smokes at home, and I don't think I like that. So it makes sense that I wouldn't even want to try. No, really. I'm alright. <laughs> Your loss. I'm having two, then. This is peer pressure. So... Why do you want to work here, of all places? The truth? Nobody else wanted me. 
Oh, come on. I mean, I've applied for like 20 different jobs. But only this one got back to me. I'll be honest with you. I never dreamed to be a care assistant, but I can't stay at home anymore. The sooner I move out, the better. And for that, I need money. Oh, so you can like rent a place. I'm thinking more of a one-way ticket to New York. What? Oh, I kind of hoped you'd stay. The thing is, I really want to get as far away from my stepdad as possible. He's just a big bag of shite. Has he... I'd never let him. God, I'd rather die. But, but you know, it'll be okay. You'll stand on your own two feet and none of that will matter. And in the meantime, if you need a friend... I suppose you've got plenty of friends already. Well, there's Zach who lives next door. He's a geek, all right. But he's kind of cool. He waited for me this morning just to give me an umbrella. Zach? Is he American? What? Nah, he just... Likes to be called Zach for some reason. Is Zach a not common name in the UK? Oh. But I have no time for romance right now. I've got a plan, and I'm sticking to it. Good for you! But... He does sound like a decent bloke. Maybe you don't write him off just yet. Honestly, the timing is just terrible. Perhaps in another life. But Lorelei, you need some people in your life. I've got too much shit at home to have friends. Even my best mate Carrie never comes over anymore. It's fine though. I don't blame her. You should try internet. It's what I do. I'm in this group and we talk about kids mostly. I can't go on the internet. My mum won't pay for the Wi-Fi. Wait, did you say you got kids? Yeah, I got two boys. I was only 17 when I had Kieran. And Sam, only two years later. You married then? No. She mentioned they lasted two years earlier, remember? <laughs> Me and you. We should be friends. I agree. Unless... Unless you'd rather be friends with Zoe. We can all be friends, come on. Maybe she's not all bad. I don't know. I don't think we'll ever be friends. But I definitely don't want to be anyone's enemy. Exactly. So don't worry. It's all good, mate. It's all good. We should probably get back now. It's time to see that new lady. Okay. I'll meet you outside her room. It's upstairs. What's her name? Oh, um... Retta, I think. Yeah, I remember someone's mentioned she was an artist. And she's got some creepy-ass paintings in her room. But she's new, so she hasn't got a name tag yet. Just look for the door with no name tag on it. If she's new here, the art thing sounds pretty good, cause I mean she still has a hobby and all. It must have been used for spraying plants and flowers. Cozy. 
He's always gonna yell at you again. Let's go. It leads back inside Pinecroft. Okay. Upstairs. Door with no name tag. Morning, ladies. Oh, she looks sleepy. There we go. The name tag on this door is missing. Where's Maria? I thought she was gonna meet me outside the room? Oh my god. Oh hell. This is it. Rest in peace, my love. Come on. Let's go, girls. Laura, you stay. Look. In a place like this... You see people die. Sometimes a year goes by and they're all fine. And then... You suddenly get three dead in one week. You never really get used to it, but there's something you have to accept if you want to work here. And most of all, don't blame yourself. It was Greta's time to go. That's all it is. You uh, think you're going to be all right, mate? Thank you for comforting me. I thought she was gonna get mad at me again. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Let's go then. There's still lots to do. You sure you'll be okay? Yeah. I'll be fine. Let's just keep busy. What's next to do? Oh, there's like a million things. But first... Do you play chess? Oh my god.
you see the lightning? It's gonna rain in a minute. Well, that's just bloody fantastic, isn't it? And another one. Oh, come on. My back is aching. I just want to go home now. Is there anything left to do? Nah. They're all in bed now. We'll just hang around the nurse's station trying to look busy and wait for the night staff. Let's go then. It's getting chilly out here. It's gonna rain, and then I'm gonna go home with the umbrella. Cozy. Not anymore. This was only one day. That whole montage. Oh. I can't go upstairs. Why did I take the toilet paper and stuff? Like, this stuff still hasn't been relevant yet. Do you hear that? No. Exactly. Nice and quiet. At last. Oh, bloody hell. Why did I say that? What is it? It's the bell alarm. Someone just pressed it by mistake. It happens. Can you check the panel for me? Yeah. Just give it a whack. It'll silence it. The sound it makes is really annoying. But I can't just give it a whack, can I? But... Zoe will go mental if I break it. Which room is it? It says 11. Room 11. Room 11? Greta's? Yeah, why? Whose room is it? Are you sure it's 11? Well, yes, absolutely. Come on. Who lives in that room? Greta. The dead lady. Spooky. Shit! Whoa! Are these maggots? Ugh! Oh, I hate maggots! But we still need to get in there and switch the bell off. Where's Zoe? She's doing the meds now. And when Zoe's doing the meds, it's generally best not to talk to her. Why is Greta's body still there anyway? Oh, they'll take it later tonight. Right. Then... Let's find a way to get rid of these... things. Guys, this is a serious institution. We take cleanliness very seriously here. I need to get rid of these maggots. Oh, God. Can we decompose the chlorine tablets in the spray bottle somehow? And then spray it? There's no water in the bottle. Okay. <laughs> There's no sink in here. What the heck? Where do I find a sink? There's one behind the door, but we can't use it. Um... The kitchen? Not the laundry room. I mean, I got the toilet paper. Would that be enough to wipe off the maggots? Excuse me, can I use a sink in here, or...? I mean, I guess not. There's a sink in Dorothy's room, <laughs> if that's okay. I don't think so, though. Oh, what?! Oh, seriously?! Oh, 
Oh, come on. There's gotta be more sinks than this. Why did we have to go to the one in the patient's room? Chlorine tablets with the spray bottle. The smell alone makes my eyes sting. This chemical solution is way too strong. It makes my eyes sting. That's a good thing, right? Out of curiosity, though, could I try wiping it down first? With a toilet paper, I mean. Thanks, girls, for doing nothing while I'm doing this. Nope. Nope. Ew. Oh, they didn't like that, did they? Horrible little buggers. Yeah. So, we're going in? Uh, no, no, no. You know me, I get scared of my own shadow. Maria, I don't want to do this on my own. Nisha. There's no way I'm going in there. Sorry, Lorelei. Fine. I'll go and turn off the bell. But you owe me. She's supposed to be the veteran. Nisha, back me up, girl. Okay. It's just a body. No need to be scared. Hey! Turn that buzzer off and we'll let you out! Wow. Now, how do I turn it off? Okay, be prepared for jump scares. I'm feeling it. That's just the light. But where's the bloody button that turns it off? Is she holding it? Oh, what? Window? What a storm. After such a beautiful sunny day. It's proper raining now. <sighs> Where is that bloody... She managed to grab the spell. Is it the Queen of Maggots? Oh! Pretty gross. was a literal kiss of death. Who's laughing? 
I'm assuming she's talking about the Queen of Maggots? Yeah, we learned with Susan that taking her deals is not a good option, is it? <laughs> got you! <laughs> I got it all on my phone! Oh, mate, you should have seen your face! What? <laughs> you nearly shat yourself! <laughs> Didn't she, Nisha? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so going on YouTube. You pranked me with the kissing part or This was a prank. <laughs> well, what do you think it was? Dead people don't ring their bells, do they? But we rang the bells, silly. Not Greta. You really believed it was her, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. That was precious. Can't help but feel like this is in really poor taste. That's an actual person who died here and you're using her for a prank. You filmed me? <laughs> yeah, so? You can't do that. Look, we always do that to new staff. <laughs> it's funny. Get over it. I don't... I know she's been really bubbly the whole time, but I'm not really liking Maria at all. No, she's mean. You said you scare easily, and then you pull off something like this. <laughs> like I'm gonna be scared of one dead lady. I've seen a hundred of them. They don't bother me no more. But she... Oh, for God's sake. It's just a body. It's not like it's gonna grab you and eat your brains or something. So it... didn't move? Of course it didn't. It's just lying there like a sack of potatoes. Mm, so the kiss part probably didn't happen. But we saw it. And the premonition that will die, those things, they happened to us in our head. You knew about this too, Nisha? Yes, of course. I ring the bell. Laura very scared. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, this what <laughs> It's kind of difficult right now because I want to say this wasn't funny, Maria, but if I try to take into the fact that this is my first day at a new job and these are my only co-workers, I feel like there's some peer pressure going on here where I might be like, oh yeah, this wasn't really funny, but I don't want to be ostracized. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, you got me. Well done. <laughs> You're one of us now. Welcome to Pinecroft, Lorelei. We have to get hazed even at a freaking residential senior home. Well, I'm glad you're all right, Mr. B. But you shouldn't have worried. Except for Greta, sadly, passing away. Well, everything's been hunky-dory. Oh, and that new girl, Laura. Or is it Lorelei? Yeah. She's done all right. Still a little rough around the edges. But I think we could make a good carer out of her. Cheers for the umbrella, Zach. Uh, remember when we went home, we talked to mom about how we got kissed by a ghost. And I guess that's what that was. <laughs> 